Hello everyone, this is Ben with ERP Connect and the Business Central Toolbox, and we're here today to show you how to utilize our ShipRush integration. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do after downloading ShipRush off of AppSource is come up to the search and type in SRI. This should give you the setup that you need in order to get started with ShipRush. So just like any of our other apps, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is generate the demo key. That will give you a demo license that is good for 30 days, after which you can reach out to us for your full license. We can either license this app individually or license it out in one of our bundles. So with that new key, you'd enter the activation key and then it would work for the term of your license. Now, once you have those activation keys activated here and inserted, there's just a few setup options that we need to take a look at here before we can get started. So first and foremost, we wanna activate ShipRush here, of course. Second, if you're using this in a sandbox environment or just getting started to test, make sure that you use this sandbox environment. Make sure that's checked. We're going to have that checked today because it's going to ensure that we're not charged while using ShipRush in just a testing environment because we will process full test shipments uh, end to end. Uh, if you want to add the freight to charge out to your customers, uh, you can add the freight line on post here. Uh, just toggle that on posting option this is going to be when you actually post the shipment so do you only want it to ship or at the same time do you want it to invoice everything you can select the ship and invoice option we're going to leave it as just ship only for today if you are charging freight to your customers what gl account do you want that uh, revenue to go to uh, in this case i've got 42000 and then of course what do you want the description on that line uh, to say so in this case i'm just indicating to our customers that this is a freight charge right this final piece, freight markup percentage. So if you wanna mark up the freight that's being charged to you back onto your end customer, uh, you can do so here. 1.2, uh, that's just gonna take, uh, these should all be 1.2, 1.3, something like that, right? Uh, not the percentage itself. So 1.2 is gonna indicate we want 1.2 times the original amount. So if you're getting charged 100, this would charge your client 120. And then finally on the packing slip, you can put uh, a quick memo at the bottom here. So for today's purposes, I just wrote, remember to include everything in the box, right? When you're doing the packing slip, that's what will show up uh, on the packing slip here as it goes in. So with that, that's really everything we need to get started with this ShipRush integration. So we're gonna go over to our sales order and show you end to end how this would actually work. All right, so let's jump into a sales order. Let's just create a brand new one here. And we'll go ahead and select our customer. We'll fill out the sales order pop-up note. This is from our uh, advanced notifications application. So if you do need something like that, uh, feel free to check that out as well. Uh, I'll link it above too. Uh, if I see anything else, I'll call it out as we go. But let's continue to go here for ShipRush. Let's buy one of these surfaces. Another pop-up note that's coming from the item. Those are all be saved over here. That's great. Alrighty, one here. And there's some other things down here in the shipping and billing, like the shipping agent, FedEx, uh, agent service, two day, things like that, charge, ship, rush, freight. All of this is defaulting from our customer card, which I will show after this. Um, so if you do wanna charge ship, rush, freight, for example, you can turn that on, even if it's not uh, defaulting from the customer card. Uh, you did have it off. You could change this one off, of course, for this order. And then the next thing we're going to want to do here is come into our packages for ShipRush. So that's under process. This is going to bring up a new screen. You can see all of that populated from uh, the sales order that we were just on. And the next thing you're going to want to do is click launch ShipRush. So let's click launch ShipRush. I'm going to have to sign in real quick. Let me try that again. All right, there we go. Once you're signed in, it should keep you signed in. Uh, so it's just a one-time thing per day. So you can see now I've got my FedEx account linked here, but you can do UPS, USPS, uh, DHL. Uh, so I've just got the FedEx one integrated here, but you can add all of those. Uh, the name of the customer pulling in, phone number, address, all that fun stuff, the service for FedEx today. Uh, all you need to do here is put in the weight and the size, and then you should be good to go. So go ahead and click ship after you have that in and ship rush should ship the order here or at least print the label that you can use to ship so you have this you can print this out go ahead slap it on your box 
and we will come back to the sales order here real quick. And you'll notice that some of the things from ShipRush came back in here like the package tracking number and then the sales order packages down here with the package tracking number, how much the freight cost, how much we're gonna charge our client for the freight, the weight, the width, the height, the length, all that kind of stuff, who created it. Uh, after this, you can go ahead and print the packing slip. So what that's gonna do is just gonna give you this packing slip here that you can print out. Uh, again, you'll see that note at the bottom that we put in the setup. Remember to include everything in the box. We can go back here, assume we printed both of those. Now you can go ahead and post the shipment. Now, if you remember correctly on the setup page, we just said ship only. So this is not gonna invoice it yet for us. I'm just gonna go ahead and click yes for the shipment. Give it a second here and it'll go ahead and ship. And then that's the last thing that we'll need on the order before we go and invoice it. So now you'll also see down here, it added that freight charge 42000 uh, is the account I'm gonna hit. And then we've got our original surface there. Uh, this has been marked up so that we're charging the customer $60.49. And then if I come back down here to the shipping and billing, <clears throat> you'll also see that uh, patch package tracking number there that was populated from the integration. So at this point, you are good to go. You can go ahead and post it, click post. Technically you're just invoicing, but you can ship an invoice if there's anything else for some reason left on the order. And everything should go swimmingly here. Do you wanna see the posted invoice? Sure, you can go ahead and check it out if you'd like. And that should be everything there on your invoice that came through. Now we're gonna to go to the customer card. And on the customer card, I'm gonna show you a few of the options here that we can default and toggle. So if you come down to your shipping, some of those out of box uh, shipment method uh, options here are things that are gonna flow through to ShipRush as we saw. So the agent, the agent service, and the charge ShipRush freight if you're trying to charge that back to your customer. And then additionally, uh, you can define how it is paid, whether it's gonna be prepaid by us, uh, whether it's gonna be paid on collect, third party, or consignee. Um, if there's a collect, you're gonna need a collect account number here so that they know who to uh, charge for that. <clears throat> and then you can also define if an order uh, is over a certain threshold. So let's say you're doing a promotion like we see online a lot of times. Uh, if this order is over $99 or $999, right, we're gonna ship this for free. So you can also do that here in the ship rush free freight threshold. Uh, if I were to do 99, for example, uh, any orders that my customers have from here, actually this customer in specific has from me, uh, it would ship for free. So even though you might have charged ship rush freight on the line uh, or on the customer or on the order, if it is over that threshold, it will not charge them any freight uh, regardless of the other setup you have there. So in terms of ship rush, that's it from an end to end standpoint. We've gone over the ship rush setup today. We've gone over the customer setup as you still see up on my screen here. And we've gone through a full end to end flow for how ship rush works from the sales order to create the integration with ship rush, go out to ship rush, create that uh, packing slip, as well as the label that you're going to slap on the box and then come back into business central with the tracking information and be able to post it. So really an end to end seamless integration with ShipRush that we hope saves you some time and ultimately some money. So hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, we have a lot of other videos out there on our Business Central toolbox that we highly encourage you to check out. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or feel free to reach out to anybody on our team directly. Thanks everybody.